In this exper experimental video, I'm going in today's semi-experimental video tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference of what this rear view camera is, is going to be in performance wise to this LCD, either just connected directly through it with the voltage in the line of the camera going to the screen as it sits, how much it's going to be degraded when I use some of these common RCA Y splitters. I'm going to use two of these and show you what happens when it changes when you use this in line. And lastly, I'm going to show you what happens when you use a mobile video amplifier. This one here will basically double the signal line voltage from any camera that gets applied on the input side to give it a hotter output on the outside. So my theory is this. If you took one camera and you used a couple Y splitters to connect it to your headrest screens, is your image quality going to suffer? Yes or no? That's what we're going to find out. So first off, this is the RCA video output from this camera right here, which is a generic import camera. Most people are using something like this. Okay, so that's why I chose it. Now this here is my multimeter. I have it set on DC voltage. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to see what this camera is outputting by default. And the meter says 1.1 volts. So 1.1, almost 1.2 DC volts. Okay. Okay. With just these two pairs of Y splitters and no load set on the, on the screen, no signal output, there was actually, it was totally unchanged. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these Y splitters. I'm going to leave them intact and connect one onto my video screen so that way I can get another reading that way. So now what we have is the camera's output running into two pairs of splitters. One is going to this seven inch screen and I'm going to have these Y splitters left in line because there is no voltage change. I mean, yeah, there was no voltage change. So I'm going to use this because I need a place to do my test and the Y splitters serve that purpose perfectly. Now you see what happens is when I put it on load, the meter is reading 0 0.4 flopping back and forth between 0.4 and 0.5 so that tells me that's a pretty low amount now if I were to take two more loads say two headrests or a flip down screen what's going to happen is this screen's quality is going to suffer significantly very much significantly unless the screens that I'm putting this in have an input and a dedicated slave output so it actually boosts or has a line driver built into the signal so it sends it on the way out better than it did coming in or the same if it does nothing and doesn't regulate the screen signal in any respect you have a problem and you need to get something like a video amp so now I'm going to put this video amp in line and I'm going to reread it once again so this here is the line output from the camera's signal going into the video amplifier this one with the red band is going to be my output from this video amp and let's see what the meter reads now 1. Oh, 1. 1.7 let's put the load back on there I'm going to need another Y splitter to get that actually no I, I have that already here I have to apply this red to this Y splitter somehow and I should be able to get a test off this last one that's still open I got a vacant spot so 1.7 without the load with a load and the video amp running. So with the amplifier in line, splitters and loads all set the way it was, the voltage has increased significantly. Now we have almost two volts. So I'm safe to say with two volts on here, I have su successfully doubled the output from that camera to this one main seven inch screen. And plus this particular model here still offers me three devoted amplified outputs all with independent adjustments so that way it gives me a little more control on the output side. So moral of the story is that if you have a camera with multiple screens one way to test if your signal is suffering is simple. Just take your multimeter set it to around you know where however your meter works. Mine I just usually leave um, on ch I mean 20 would be sufficient but I just want 200 just to get a bigger range and see what your voltage is. If you're running under one volt that's 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 means that you might want to consider getting yourself a video amplifier and maybe if at all possible lose some of these horrific Y splitters because these Y splitters they're great in a pinch when you need to get something done really quick but I would definitely not advise leaving these as a permanent solution um, definitely not passive totally unactive does nothing but degradate 
the signal as you might have suspected. So my experiment was as I suspected. It was it was a success that it degraded my signal as I thought it would. How much I didn't know, but now I do. So now you know. So keep that in mind. So if you're going to do some video work in your own application, use that as a little test so that way you know where you stand with your video signals.